Hello. Hello friends, on behalf of IGNO Regional Center Cochin, myself Dr. Prasita Unnikrishnan, Assistant Director, IGNO Regional Center Cochin, warmly welcome you all to this Facebook live session on the topic Opportunities in Higher Education with IGNO. The purpose of this session is mainly to give, in, give you an idea about the uh, programs on offer by IGNO for the January 2021 admission cycle uh, with specific uh, focus on certain certificate, diploma, bachelor's and PG level programs. Learning as you all know is a continuous process and with IGNO one can say that one can never stop learning. To enable, uh, to enable you to continue with this lifelong learning process. Let me share with you some of the historical perspectives of IGNO. How distance learning helps you? We all know knowledge is power and it helps in self enrichment and empowerment. It also helps in getting us our dream job and thus enhancing our job prospects and skills. IGNO was established by an act of parliament in the year 1985 and has continuously striven to build an inclusive society through inclusive education. However, to democratize higher education, as per the recent initiatives by MHRD Government of India, IGNO has tried to increase the gross enrollment ratio by offering high quality teaching through open and distance learning mode. In fact, the university began by offering two academic programs in the year 1987, that is Diploma in Management and Diploma in Distance Education. And today, it serves the educational aspirations of over 3 million students in India. Through 21 school of studies and a network of 67 regional centers across India. Over the years, IGNO has lived up to the country's expectations of providing education to the marginalized sections of the society and thus taking education to the doorstep of the learners. IGNO has also been awarded the Center of Excellence and Excellence for Distance Education materials by the Commonwealth of Learning. So why uh, we choose IGNO? as a mode of our learning. It is because of the flexible admissions rules and the flexibility which the students has with respect to the place, pace and duration of a study. A, st a student who joins IGNO has a minimum and a maximum duration. For example, a bachelor's degree program has a minimum duration of three years and the student has a flexibility to complete his or her program in a maximum duration of six years. Further, as I already mentioned, we have student support services across the country and our study materials are also digitized, cost effective, and we also have a modular approach to our programs. How IGNO supports us? Our academic programs are offered through 67 regional centers across India, out of which three regional centers are located in Kerala. The three regional centers which are located in Kerala are Cochin, Trivandrum and Vadagara. IGNO Regional Center Cochin was established in the year 1988 and it mainly caters to six districts. 
which is Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura, and Union Territory of Lakshadweep. So, how does a student study with IGNO? The study is mainly through self is self study through self learning materials. Our materials are considered to be one of the best, and the self in the self learning materials, it is said that the teacher is embedded within the textbook. Hence, the study materials form the base for a student who applies to IGNO. Further, the counseling sessions and the practicals, project work, and internship are also part as a part of the program pursued by the student. The assessment at IGNO is mainly multi-tier. We have a multi-tier system of evaluation, which is mainly through self-assessment exercises, assignment response, term and examination. And if suppose your program has a field work or an in internship component, then that also is included as a part of the assessment at IGNO. Assignments constitute mainly 25 to 30 percent of the weightage, while term and examinations have almost 70 percent weightage in the final assessment. IGNO admissions for the January 2021 cycle is presently open. In IGNO, admissions are offered twice in a year, July session and January session. Presently, the admissions for the January 2021 sessions are open, for which the last date is 28th of February 2021. Students who are willing to apply for admissions for January 2021 can apply through the IGNO Samarth portal, that is https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. So how you can apply for the IGNO programs? You have to visit our main IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. Once you get, get into the website, there is an icon called the register online. Please click on the register online icon and click on fresh admission. IGNO offers a series of short term and long term courses especially certificate, PG certificate, diploma, PG diploma, degree, and postgraduate programs. For details of our programs which are available for applying to IGNO is through the Common Prospectus January 2021, which is also available on the IGNO website, http www.igno.ac.in. Under, under Regional Centre Cochin, there are 33 study centres which are activated and there are 89 programmes which are presently activated under the Regional Centre Cochin, out of which uh, I would just like to highlight some of the prominent programmes which are BA General, BA Honours programmes, BSc, BCom, BCA, BSW, BLIS, MEPC, MCom, MBA, MCA, MA, MSW, MSc DFSM, MSc CFT, PGT FSQM, DCE, CFE, and CFN. The table gives the list of the programs which are available under Regional Center Cochin. We have around 25 master's level programs which are on, activated under Regional Center Cochin. We also have around 15 bachelor's degree program, 20 PG diploma programs, 7 diploma programs. 20 certificate level programs and other PG certificate programs. This is a screenshot of on how a student can apply to IGNO. You have to go to the IGNO main website www.igno.ac.in and please uh, click on the third icon from the left hand side that is register online. Once you click on the third icon on the left hand side, you have to click on the second icon, which is given as fresh admission for applying to IGNO programs. When you have, uh, click on fresh admissions, this is a screenshot of the, how the portal uh, is seen on the screen, in which it is clearly written that the last date for submission of application is 28th February 2021. 
you have to create your user ID and password and thus uh, follow the instructions which are given to apply the online for the IGNO programs. If you also uh, look closely, there is something called program information, which is the fourth icon from the left hand side. If you click on the program information, and there is something called search for programs on the right hand side. You put any program code or program name, the concerned program details can be obtained immediately on the website. So this is a very quite handy for the students who want to know about the details and integrities of the program which they are applying. So any program you give in the search option and the program details along with its duration and the fees comes on the uh, immediately on the portal. In IGNO, every program has a minimum and maximum duration. So for the certificate program, the minimum duration is six months and the maximum duration is two years. For diploma programs, the minimum duration is one year and the maximum duration is two years. For a bachelor's degree program, the minimum duration is three years and the maximum duration is six years. For master's degree programs, the minimum duration is two years and the maximum duration is four years. So the student here has a flexibility to complete his or her program within the maximum duration limit of whichever program he or she is applying. Now let me just uh, take you through some of the programs which may be of interest to you all. First and foremost, let me start with the certificate level programs. Uh, I'm just sharing the screenshot of the same. First is a Certificate in Disaster Management program, that is a CDM program. This program prepares the learner in the areas of disaster preparedness, prevention, mitigation, relief, reconstruction, and rehabilitation. The eligibility criteria for uh, this program is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent, and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. The duration of this program is six months and in maximum two years, you can complete this program. The fee structure is also given. The next program which may be of use for uh, the learners is the Certificate in Environmental Studies program, that is the CES. This program is of use of general public at all levels of formal and non-formal education professionals, ecologists, hydrologists, foresters, landscape architects, art architects, and others. Especially even for a layman who is basically wants to understand and the nitty gritties of environment, this program will be especially useful. The eligibility criteria, as I mentioned earlier, for certificate programs is generally 10 plus 2 or its equivalent, and its uh, duration is six months. The next program is Certificate in Food and Nutrition. This program aims to acquaint the learner with the role of food in ensuring healthy living for the individual, family, and community, and thus make the learners responsible and aware citizens of tomorrow. The eligibility criteria, as I again mentioned, is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. And uh, the medium of instruction I would like to highlight is CFN is, a, is one such program which is available in so many languages, especially English, Hindi, SMS, Gujarati, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Punjabi, Tamil, and Oriya. And the duration is minimum six months and maximum you can complete it in two years. Then comes the certificate in nutrition and child care. The program would help in having the knowledge, understanding, and skills, both with regard to nutrition and child development. This would definitely enable the learner to take up jobs as functionaries with government and NGOs working for women and children. The eligibility criteria again here is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and the medium of instruction for, uh, in which this program is available is English and Hindi. The next program which may be of interest to all is Certificate in Rural Development. The program provides a comprehensive knowledge of socio-economic factors affecting the transformation of rural society. 
it is primarily meant for those learners who want to have a comprehensive orientation in rural development within a short period of time. Again, the eligibility criteria here is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and with the medium of instruction again being English and Hindi. The next is a Certificate in Human Rights Program. This program has been designed specifically to sensitize and educate professionals and workers who as a part of their routine duty interact with masses daily. And the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. The Master of Computer Applications. This is a newly, launched, newly, uh, newly revised program which has been made for two, uh, which has, in which the duration has been reduced to two years. In fact, the broad objective of the MCA program is to prepare graduate students for productive careers in software industry and academia by providing an environment for teaching and research in the core and emerging areas of the discipline. The eligibility criteria uh, is as mentioned, like the student should have passed BCA, BSc, Computer Science, IT, having a bachelor's degree in computer science, engineering, or equivalent degree, obtained at least 50% marks in the qualifying examination, or he should be having any bachelor's degree of minimum three-year duration from a recognized university and mathematics as one of the subjects at 10 plus 2 level or graduation level, or he has to obtain at least 50% marks in the qualifying examination uh, and also should have successfully completed the PGDCA of IGNO. So this is a newly revised MCA program whose duration has been reduced to two years. Now let me take you all to some of the uh, social work programs which are available at IGNO. Uh, these are the Master of Social Work program, MSW, Master of Social Work Counseling, MSWC, Postgraduate Diploma in Social Work Counseling, PGD, COUN, and Bachelor of Social Work, BSW. We also have Diploma in HIV and Family Education, that is DEFE, Certificate in HIV and Family Education, that is CAFE, and Certificate in Tribal Studies, CTRBS. The Master of Social Work program is one of the prominent programs uh, for those learners who are interested in having a professional view of social work. The eligibility criteria again is a bachelor's degree or a higher degree and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. The Master of Social Work in Counseling, MSWC, is a professional uh, program in which uh, the student is provided with professional education and training in counseling extending beyond the theoretical knowledge. So practical exposure is also provided uh, in this program. The eligibility criteria is graduation in any discipline from a recognized university and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. The fee structure is also as mentioned. Then you have the PG, uh, PG Diploma in Counseling, that is PGDCOUN, Postgraduate Diploma in Social Work Counseling. The, it is also a one-year program in which uh, a student is given professional education and training in counseling extending beyond the theoretical knowledge. Again, the eligibility criteria here is graduation in any discipline from a recognized university and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. The duration of this program is minimum one year. The Bachelor of Social Work program. This program is especially useful for those who are interested in providing professional assistance to people in need. Uh, many of our IGNO students uh, do, uh, do apply for this Bachelor of Social Work program and the eligibility criteria for this is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. The duration is minimum 3 years and you can complete your program in a maximum of 6 years. Then you have the Diploma in HIV and Family Education. It's called as DEFE. This program is especially useful for those who want to enhance their knowledge and skills, uh, especially for those functionaries who are involved in HIV, AIDS and related issues. The eligibility criteria, again, as mentioned, is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. And the medium of instruction 
in which this program is available is English and Hindi. You also have the certificate in HIV and family education that is CAFE program. This program imparts an integrated understanding to the learners about the issues involved in HIV AIDS and behavior modification. This program is specially uh, for uh, the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and again the medium of instruction here is English and Hindi. There is also a program called Certificate in Tribal Studies. This program is specially useful for those who want to work in the tri uh, tribal sector and who aim to support individuals working in the social and welfare service sector which is specifically targeting the tribals. The eligibility criteria again here is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. Now, I, I, I like to highlight some of the programs of School of Journalism and New Media Studies, SOJNMS programs. There are mainly two programs here, that is the Master of Arts, Journalism and Mass Communication and Postgraduate Diploma in Journalism and Mass Communication. The Master of Arts, Journalism and Mass Communication assists the learners to develop the competencies and professional skills to avail employment opportunities in the media sector, especially those who want to make a career in journalism and media, they should opt for this program. The eligibility criteria is graduation in any discipline from a recognized university and should have basic knowledge of computer and internet. The medium of instruction need to be English. The duration can be minimum one years and maximum you can complete it in a duration of two years. The Postgraduate Diploma in Journalism and Mass Communication. This program especially assists the learners to develop competencies and professional skills to avail employment opportunities in media sector. The eligibility criteria would be graduation in any discipline from a recognized university, same as that of MAGMC is the eligibility criteria of PGGMC as well. So this was some about some of the programs uh, which are presently on offer and uh, under IGNO Regional Center Cochin. For any information, we also have our Twitter account, our email ID is rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. Uh, for any queries pertaining to the session or any queries pertaining to admission to any of the IGNO programs, you please feel free to write to us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. You can also go through the common prospectus of IGNO, uh, of IGNO, which is available on the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in for all the programs which are on offer for the January 2021 session. You can also uh, visit our regional center coaching website, httprccoaching.igno.ac.in. Uh, uh, in which all details pertaining to the regional center question is regularly being updated onto the website. Again, I would like to mention that the last date of admissions for the January 2021 session is 28th of February 2021. And the link for the online admissions is through the IGNO admission samarth.edu.in. The link for uh, online admissions is also available on the main IGNO website. Right, that is www.igno.ac.in. So the uh, last date, as I again mentioned, is 28th February 2021. And you can please uh, register yourself uh, through the fresh admission link, which is given on the website. And I truly believe that you have to believe in yourself to be an IGNO student. And please, uh, feel free to contact us at regional center coaching at the rate igno.ac.in and and a big thank you for uh, watching this live facebook session for any queries uh, in case you have any queries pertaining to this session i would request you to kindly uh, place your queries in the chat box chat mode so that uh, we can answer them and thank you all for listening 
saying to me patiently and thank you once again.